right, guys, let's move to this story because uh, this is an important one that you're probably not going to see on any sort of corporate mainstream uh, news. Saw this over on the World Socialist website who've been doing a great job covering this kind of stuff. Um, they do also a great job talking about uh, labor actions, strikes, that sort of stuff as well. So I have talked about how India and um, India, Japan, Australia, and the United States calling themselves the Quad are, are, are basically trying to um, attack China, right? Uh, the United States wants to increase uh, ag aggression on China. So they're basically trying to use countries around there in the, in the Pacific um, to, to mount pressure on them. And uh, India uh, has been encouraged by American weapons because right now they have contracts with Russia. Uh, Lloyd Austin has gone and met with Modi and, and um, who's that other fuck in India? God damn it. Amit Shah. He's met with Amit Shah. And uh, Amit Shah is the guy that basically was like, you guys are farmers, so you probably won't understand uh, how policies and finances work. Like he talked down to the farmers that were on strike where they were like, no, we get it. That's why we're striking. It's because you're an asshole trying to make money off of like killing our labor. So we we get it. We would like you to fucking not do that, though. So America, you know, basically said buy American weapons, you know, we'll help you guys out and uh, keep an eye on China. Uh, so they've moved 200 to 250,000 troops to the Chinese border under the guise of you know, well, we got to stop China's deployment. So China's moving, um, and, and the U.S. did this a couple months ago uh, with Russia, right? China's moving troops within its own borders, which they're allowed to do. Uh, and America's like, no, we, you should go and, like, that could be a strike, so you should preemptively get in there. And, you know, America did this with Russia a couple months ago where Russia did the same thing. They moved troops within their own borders and America was like, we're scrambling the jets. The jets have to be scrambled. Get them to Alaska, right? Remember the thing that we made fun of Sarah Palin for? Literally fucking liberals are advocating for that exact same thing. I can see Russia from my house and they're moving their troops. Get scramble the jets. That's... So now, uh, because they're moving this troops, these these troops, uh, India is doing India is basically building crash infrastructure, which means that they're like very quickly building um, infrastructure for military deployment. You know, roads, bases, bridges, that sort of shit, just so they can move troops and maneuver them around uh, uh, the the area that they're going under because it's mountainous. That area is pretty mountainous. Meanwhile, uh, so they're spending all this money. On doing that, but meanwhile, uh, the citizens of India could use some infrastructure. They could use some new roads, right? They could use better internet. They could use, uh, I don't know, more vaccines, more hospital help, more aid to people that are dying of COVID and the black fungus that was uh, running rampant in that country. They need internet services. They need better rail, uh, better rail systems. They need to find a way to decrease the amount of poverty that exists in that country. That is a much better way of spending your fucking money than, than this invisible enemy bullshit. Oh, China's moving troops within its own borders. Oh, that's evil. America moves troops around the fucking globe and, and nobody fucking bats an eye. Again, this is a cue that India is taking from America, which is spend more money on warfare, spend more money on military, and fuck the rest of your people. Because that is going to help you accumulate more wealth that you can shove to the top. So that India, which already has a bunch of rich people there and, and, and a massive amount of income inequality, can continue to amass more wealth. And that's also the importance of um, Kashmir. Uh, they need to have demographic control. They need to have Hindu demogra demographic control of Kashmir so they can just annex it into India. 
Um, and uh, there's a whole history. I, I did a whole history about Kashmir that 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 show exists on this channel. So I would, I would recommend to go check that out. Um, and basically, like what America is trying to do um, with India is turn it into the Israel of the Pacific. Um, and and you know, pa uh, Kashmir is going to be the Palestine of that region. You're going to see this theocratic military dictatorship crop up. It's already starting to happen. You know, they're controlling the internet there. People are not able to get in and out of that region very easily. Journalists are being censored. People are being killed. And they're under a Indian military occupation. Part of this is, is because they it's it's to uphold the the religion religious um a demographic they want it to be an all hindu nation and that's for another reason too is because that's what partition was all about partition was splitting up the country on a religious line which is fucking stupid um but they're giving into they're giving into british imperialism anyway like that's that's you you gained your freedom and then you just continue to do continue to like carry forward the legacy of british imperialism how fucking dumb is that? And then now you're lining up with another imperialist country so that you yourself can become an imperialist country? Why? Why would you want to do that? To me, it's it's traitorous to, to your own people. But that's what they want. And in five years, India will be headed this down the same fucking path that Israel is walking down. And they will become another apartheid state. I still hear it. I hear it from members of my own family. The fucking Islamophobia. Claiming that Kashmir needs to be a part of India. Because it always has been. No it hasn't. It's been a. It's it's it's, it's own fucking state. And at this point. America, China, Pakistan, India and the UK owe a lot of aid to spending fucking 60 years fucking that region up. They should be their own country, and all five of these countries owe them aid. Owe them aid for being imperialist bastards. And now they're trying to use them as a, 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 you know, a flank point for China. A war that we, they don't need to get into. A war that you know the the United States will uh, will not win. You, there doesn't need to be a ground war with China. There just doesn't. America is the one that brought them into this cycle of capitalism in the first place, and now that they're doing better, and now that they hold a, more power, we're like, oh, we'll use our fucking military against you. Re fucking ridiculous. Very disappointing move in India. Uh, Holly says, poor India is in a bad position with U.S. money helping. Uh, yes, they, they are in a bad position, but they don't need to be. That that They could have rejected that deal. Um, but again, Modi is, is uh, pretty right-wing and... Um, is not it's it, he just doesn't give a shit because he's also a Hindu nationalist. He claims he's not. He's apologized to the Muslim community for what happened in Gujarat, but his actions speak otherwise. If if you are truly apologetic for what happened in Gujarat in the early two thousands, um, then you would not be doing what you're doing in Kashmir. You would not be trying to take control of that, and. Uh, Holly points this out in the comment sections over on Rockfin here is that's how America fights proxies. And that's what India is becoming, right? They're becoming a proxy. They're becoming a backup. Uh, India, it, it, India is going to be, like I said, the Israel of the Pacific, and they're going to be there to, I mean, I would not be surprised if in the next few years we see an American base in Kashmir and we fund a bunch of weapons to them. 
and they become the front and take and India takes the brunt of all of the military force of China. America is not going to really be be there a whole lot. So Indian lives are going to be put on the line for American interests that may or may not bleed over into being Indian interest, interests. It just doesn't, none of this makes any goddamn sense to me. And again, you see an entire government seeking imperialist power, selling out their own people, and that was part of the fucking problem in the first place. That's how Br the British occupation happened for 400 years. And that's why it's important to learn your fucking history, people. Like, that's that's why it's such an important fucking thing. That's why I've been so hell-bent on learning history over the last couple of years and trying to use that in my comedy and commentary to, like... Anyway. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit the like button and please make sure you share this content out. Sharing is very important. Sharing is how independent media gets the word out there about topics that corporate media doesn't even want to mention on their networks. So it's really up to you guys. Corporate media very much depends on the people. We are people-powered media. That's what we really are. Uh, another great way to help if you're on stable financial ground is to uh, make a financial contribution to this channel. And you can do so over at krishmohanhaha.com slash donate. You can become a sustaining member, which gets you free tickets, early access to videos, bonus stand-up comedy and storytelling content, uh, a way for you to communicate directly with me, ask me questions, and other uh, premium content that uh, will be released on a monthly basis. Um, or you can make a one-time donation as well on that same website. Um, I also have uh, various stand-up comedy albums. I have about six comedy albums out right now uh, that are available on my website at krishmohanhaha.com. And most of them, if you get them off of Bandcamp, are available for a dollar or a, a pay-what-you-want pricing. And I also want to mention that I do have an online merch store. Uh, you can go to my website, krishmohanhaha.com, click on the merch tab, and check out all of the designs that I've made myself. And the Julian Assange shirt, there is a Julian Assange shirt that's on the website. All the profit from the Julian Assange designs will be going to uh, pro-Assange activists, such as Action for Assange, uh, Kevin Gastola, Richard Methurst, folks uh, 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 that, that are covering and talking about Assange. So I'm going to be making donations to them. Um, uh, it'll be 100% of the profits I make off of that shirt. Uh, thank you again for tuning in. Thank you again to all the people that have made contributions to the show, that regularly check out my content, that have subscribed to my channels. I, I very, very much appreciate it, and uh, and you guys help keep this uh, keep keep this this train a moving. So I, I very much appreciate that. Until the next video, we'll see you on the road. See you guys.